This video is brought to you by Simply Safe. Why, hello there. My name is Sam. I can almost do the splits. And for the last 29 months, I've been living out of my pickup truck. I didn't move into my vehicle because I had fallen onto hard times. I wasn't fired from my job and forced into a life of prostitution and selling bootleg DVDs out of the back of my pickup. I do indeed have a job and for the last six years, I've been working full time as a firefighter in the state of California. I also didn't move into my vehicle because I was going through some kind of rough and nasty divorce. I've never been married and I don't have any children to report. I did have a very wild time in Thailand a few years ago. So there is a small chance that perhaps there is a Thai child running around the streets of Bangkok who resembles me but the odds of this are very minimal. The main reason that I moved into my pickup was to help accelerate my financial savings and eventually use that as a down payment on a house. Now that I've reached my final month of living as a homeless man, I thought I'd make a video discussing how much money I save by not renting, as well as how much money I've managed to accumulate overall. I hope you enjoy. Before I start discussing my finances, I'd like to introduce you to my woman. She was born in 2002, which makes her a legal adult. Both of her parents were full-blooded Japanese, but she was born here in the United States. Her name is Hinoaijin, which is Japanese for Silver Mistress. My previous lover was a Honda Civic. I sold it for $7,000 and then I purchased the Tundra for the same price. The camper shell on the back is a snug top Highliner model. I believe I purchased it for around $1,500. A little bit later in this video, I will give you a full tour of my sleeping quarters. Number one, you don't buy a house unless you're out of debt and you have your emergency fund. Now, everybody's going to tell you you need to run by a house, but everybody's broke. Before I moved into my pickup truck, I was living in an apartment in Midtown Sacramento. I was splitting the apartment with one of my buddies. For my own bedroom, I was paying $900 per month. But then when you add on the utilities, water, internet, electricity, all that good stuff, I was paying right around $1,000. So to calculate how much I saved by not renting, I'll just do a little simple math. I'll take the 29 months that I was homeless. I will multiply that by $1,000. And when all the numbers are crunched, I have calculated that I saved $29,000 by not renting. For as long as I can remember, I've always had a job of some sorts. When I was a little kid, I would help my dad at farmer's markets. When I was 13, I got a job at a peach ranch. I've worked at a gym. I've worked on an ambulance and I've also done demolition. No matter what the job was, I always set aside a portion of my paycheck and put it into my savings. Now after many years, my hard work has paid off and I now have $225,000. I'm sure you can tell by how emotional I am, but I am overcome with joy. I've also started putting 15% of my paychecks into a Roth IRA. I have $60,000 in there now. I'm gonna to continue to contribute to it and just watch that bad boy grow. Firefighter salaries vary state to state and here in California, we're doing pretty well. We're currently ranked number two in the United States. But you have to understand that the salaries reflect the cost of living and it costs a buttload of money to live here in California. I'm also addicted to working overtime much like a hipster is addicted to his organic soy milk. I pick it up as often as I can. I work tons and I reap the benefits. Finding a safe place to park and sleep at night took a lot of trial and error. When I first started, I would park my truck on the streets in cities, but this was super sketchy. The first thing that I worried about was other vehicles rear-ending me. If I were to be in the back when another vehicle crashed into me, 
my femurs would go shooting up through my shoulders. When I wasn't worried about that, I was worried about other sketchy individuals. On a couple of different occasions, I woke up at night to pitter-pattering going on outside of my window. One day I left my truck parked on the street and when I returned home, my back window was smashed. They had taken my backpack. This event left me feeling vulnerable and exposed. I wanted some better security in my life and that's when I turned to Simply Safe. Simply Safe is an effective and reliable home security system that you can order online or over the phone and it's delivered straight to your home. Setup was a breeze. It took me less than an hour, and even a Neanderthal like myself can figure out how to use it. Once installed, your CASA will be professionally monitored 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for just 50 cents a day. Security cameras will help catch any creepy predators meandering around your abode, and there are sensors protecting your doors and windows, as well as motion sensors to guard your entire room. The devices are sleek and small, so you don't have to worry about strapping bulky and unflattering sensors around your house. The monitoring center will immediately call the police if it's alerted to anything. For more information, head on over to simplysafe.com forward slash the homeless firefighter. Again, that's simplysafe.com forward slash the homeless firefighter. I'll give you a quick tour of my mobile home. If you're looking for something a little more detailed, I will put a video link in the description. We will start this tour off in my cockpit, which also serves as a guest bedroom. There are a lot of entertainment options here. Up front, I have an AM FM radio, as well as a cassette player. And to deal with the harsh California climate, I have access to a cooler, as well as a heater. On the side here is where I keep all my important legal documents. We'll move on to the back room. I don't normally have my firefighting gear here, but it's wildfire season and I have it just in case my mother's place decides to burn. Down below is where I keep all my dirty clothes. It gets pretty rank after a couple of days. This is a shake weight. I busted it from overexertion. I'm hoping to take it to a mechanic soon. In the back here is my 45 liter Arctic cooler. That's where I store all of my food and drinks. And in the California summer, it'll hold ice for about three days. On top of the cooler is where I keep all my shoes. On the right, I have my hiking shoes. And then on the left, I have my going out dancing shoes. My favorite feature of this room is the panoramic windows. It lets in a lot of natural sunlight. The majority of my items are here in the back. I don't have a storage unit, so everything I have in life is back here. My bed is a twin size mattress. I'll show you underneath here. First off, if you're curious, this is not a urine stain. It is a water stain. I have a couple of bins underneath the bed. This is where I keep all my jackets. And this bin over here is where I keep my cooking supplies. This is the first weapon that I ever crafted. It is a hot dog spear. I'm trying to learn to habla, so I got my Spanish phrases flashcards. I like doing yoga from time to time, so I got my yoga mat, yoga block. To the left here is a Coleman stove as well as a throwing axe. I hate cooking and I'm absolutely terrible at it, but I will bust it out from time to time. Usually I just like to cook stuff up at work or I'll buy pre-made meals. The bin to the left over there is where I keep my thongs, my shirts, as well as my workout clothing. I feel like oftentimes on YouTube, living out of your vehicle is portrayed as some glamorous endeavor. It makes it seem like a life full of man buns and eating your avocado and toast next to a setting sun. But in reality, it oftentimes really blows. If you work a regular nine to five, living out of your vehicle full time is not something that I'd recommend. My job schedule has made this lifestyle much easier to obtain. When I'm working, I work 48 hours on and then I get 96 hours off. During those 48 hours that I'm working, I live full time at the fire station 
and I have access to a kitchen, a shower, laundry, and it helps break up the monotony of living out of my pickup. During the summer times, we are also very busy with the wildfires. California burns to the ground every single summer and we can get sent out for up to two weeks at a time to help out with those. We actually have some pretty bad ones going on right now and one of them is quickly approaching my mother's backyard. I recently went out there to give her a little firefighter training so she could help combat the oncoming inferno. I can do this, honey. The most common place that I'd go to sleep at night was in the parking lot behind my fire station. This got me off of the streets and it was one of the safest options available to me. I could also bum the station's Wi-Fi and head on over to www.google.com and explore the World Wide Web. In the mornings, sometimes I would be awakened by my coworkers knocking on my window, asking me what I was doing. On a separate occasion, someone drew a picture of what appeared to be a penis on the back of my camper shell. Some other sleeping options that I found valuable were parking in my friend's driveways or going to campsites. The downside about campsites are that they can get rather expensive and if you're doing that every night, it's gonna add up quickly. If you have friends, family, a significant other, whether that be a man, woman, or non-binary, I highly recommend couch or bed surfing from time to time it can be a real game changer. I'm a huge mama's boy, so every couple of weeks I'd head up to my mother's farm. I'd offer her manual labor, and in return she would feed me salami and gummy bears. Now that my nomadic life is coming to an end, it's time for me to make some life decisions. This whole virus thingy has really thrown a wrench into my life. When things were normal, I'd leave the United States every few months and I'd go frolic around other countries. This helped break up the routine of living out of my vehicle and it also helped keep my sanity. But now that that's been ripped away from me, living out of my pickup with no end in sight was just starting to get old. So I decided it was time for a change. I have more than enough money to put a down payment on a house. When I do pull the trigger, I plan on putting at least 20% down and getting myself locked into a 15 year fixed rate mortgage. A lot of people are telling me now is the time to buy because the interest rates are so low. But for me, the interest rates really don't matter much because I plan on paying off the whole house within a matter of a few years. The main issue with the California housing market right now is a lack of supply. But I gotta believe that locking our country down for multiple months is gonna have some economic repercussions. And deep down inside, I just feel like buying right now is not the most opportune time. So instead, I decided that I'm just gonna rent for a year and I'm gonna pay my rent with the money that I've made off of the YouTubes. Making these videos is just a little hobby for me to help pass the time. I never expected to make any money off of them and when I did start to make money, it was a very pleasant surprise. I hope these videos have given you some good information as well as a little bit of humor. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye. Thank you again to Simply Safe for sponsoring the video.